Let's try a new filament for my 3D printed molds for plaster. In particular, this. Hi, I'm Kent. Recently, I've been making a whole bunch more handle molds that turn into plaster like this. And to make that plaster, I 3D print these pieces here. This is my mold system. Each half of plaster requires four pieces. There's a bottom plate. There's an inner part that forms the handle itself, and then two outer walls. We assemble that together, pour plaster, and once the plaster is cured, we pull this out. One of the more delicate parts is actually removing this piece out of the mold. So when we pour the plaster, it winds up embedded in the plaster just like that, and we have to pull it up. The walls are intentionally very thin, so they flex a little bit. However, the plaster itself is rather delicate. In particular, this edge here is a right angle, and plaster doesn't really like these sharp corners. That corner is really needed because we have a two-part mold and we need to put the mating faces together. Pulling it out requires some patience. And while ceramics is great at teaching patience, it still isn't my strongest suit. So I was curious if a different filament might work out. A while ago, I went and picked up an AMS for my bamboo printer, and that lets me do a couple things. One is it lets me keep my filament dry, which is great. But recently, this filament came out, which is a TPU that actually goes to the AMS system. TPU is really soft and bendy, but this version is a little bit more rigid from what I understand. And I thought it might be a good candidate for replacing this inner piece here. So what I want to do in this video is test out this new filament. However, with my background in research, I didn't want to just do one test because it's a little bit deceptive sometimes when you get the results. Did you just get lucky that time? So I actually want to go ahead and do two tests on two different filaments. I went ahead and printed out two new sets of molds. These are just in regular PLA. Actually, it's the tough PLA that I use for everything, basically. These pieces really aren't critical. They are really just structural. These pieces don't need to flex the way they're designed. They just come apart. We have great draft angles. However, they do have some tight tolerances so that the inner mold piece can come in. So what I do is replace the handle piece. And since I have the AMS, I wanted to go back and try another filament as well. This is PETG. I tried it before and was having some problems, and I'm pretty sure the issue was it's wet. But now that I have the AMS and it has its nice desiccate packets in it, I can make sure that it's dry. So I went and printed these, although they were still having a few problems. And those will go just like that. And then fresh off my printer are these. So these are the TPU pieces. There's a tiny little bit of stringing and there's a few kind of weird defects in the print. This is Bamboo's filament, so I just printed it on their default settings for the AMS TPU. And in general, it seemed to print without issue, except for these artifacts. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these off. I printed these with supports. One. And there's the second. These are definitely well attached to the bed. So I can put this back in my printer. And I'll need to clean these up a little bit, but basically the idea is that I have the opposite half that will go like this. So now we'll have two different handles, two different geometries. I noticed that some of the corners in particular are the harder parts to pull out. Basically this angle here on both of them means it flexes less. It's, there's more structure there just because of the geometry. And this one here is deeper, so it goes deeper into the plaster. So compared to my PLA, which tends to be rather stiff, the PETG is a little bit more flexible, but this stuff here is definitely more bendy. So I'm gonna take a minute and clean out the sports and make sure everything fits. And there we go, they seed in pretty well. So pulled the supports out, at least mostly. I don't think this filament likes the supports. And there's a few spots where it's really thin. That's what these artifacts are. So I suspect it needs some tweaking in terms of the support structures. I use the organic tree supports for this. The other ones seem to do okay. I don't notice any issues there. There really weren't any supports there at all. So probably a learning curve there with the settings and slicing it. And the other thing is it definitely is much more bendy, much more flexible compared to this is more rigid. So I think since I have these little spots that are sticking through, I'm going to get a little bit of throwing clay and push down in there just to make sure that it doesn't leak. This is only the feed for the slip, so it really isn't part of the handle itself. It all gets cut off, and the handle part itself turned out just fine in terms of the printing. So I got a little bit of throwing clay here, and I'm just going to take a bit, push it in the end there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's the pinholes right there. So I was gonna put it a little bit on the inside. 
Make sure the plaster doesn't leak. Just like that. All right, just a little bit of extra insurance. So now I can go ahead and assemble these like normal. So I'll go ahead and seat all the pieces. I'll flip it over, tape everything down. We'll see how that goes with this filament, but I think it should be okay. The tape I have is super sticky. And then we'll assemble everything together. All right, those two are all taped up. Make sure they're all seated. No issues. All right, and the other handle. Now I'll attach the outer walls. There we go, all set for plaster. Speaking of, let's skip out the plaster stuff and we'll mix and pour plaster. I've got my water, I've got my plaster, I'm gonna take the plaster, I'm gonna take the dry plaster and put it onto the water. And I'll use my sieve here to make sure that there's no clumps. I'll let it slake for three and a half minutes, let it mix for four, and then we'll pour. Go ahead and shake these some. And I've got my brush here to try and get any bubbles. All right, these are looking good. I'll go ahead and let plaster cure and I'll clean up my tools. The plaster's all set and is cooling down. It's been maybe an hour or so, a bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the outer molds and then we'll decide what we wanna do with the insides. So go ahead and remove all the binder clips. And take off the tape from the bottom. And then they should demold just like all the other handles. Pull the bottom off. Pull the side walls out. Sideways. these off if you want to reuse them. I just use a bucket of water and a brush like this. These all look good. One thing I do notice is that I got a little bit of plaster here on this edge right here for the TPU. Looks like I got a little bit here as well. So I guess that didn't seat quite as well. The clay we used to seal the bottom worked just fine. All right, let me go ahead and clean up the back sides here real quick. All right, and then there's usually a little bit of plaster that leaks on the end here. That's completely normal.
All right, the PETG, just like the PLA. Let's try the TPU. That definitely flexes some more. All right, these are looking good. Now this plaster is very fresh, so it's still pretty soft. And what I have been doing with the PLA inserts is I've been letting it dry. I think if you let it fully cure, so it takes several days, it's probably best if you're using the PLA. However, I'm curious if it will release easier using our different filaments. I don't have high hopes for the PETG. Well, it's flexing a little bit. Put these so they're the same. I'm going to go ahead and try and remove it. Pull it away from the edge here. Let's get the flex a little bit. Oh, that's got a little bit of breakout right there. Alright, this one's just cracking. I'm not so happy about that. Let me set these to the side. Let's do the real test. Let's see if the TPU is any better. Definitely is more bendy. And one of the hard parts are these corners here. So it doesn't want to flex with the regular filament. Well, that's way better. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. Oh yeah, that's much better. Got some tiny little cracks here, but again, I did this right when the plaster is still very fresh. Try this one. Again, this will be the hard corner since it's got more structure because of the angle. And got one little chip right there. So yeah, it just came out. And there's that one. Tiny little chip. So I think that's actually looking really promising. And there's the chip out. Again, like this isn't that big of a deal. It looks kind of ugly. But by the time you're seaming it, and these are so thin, it's you know, a fraction of a millimeter deep usually. It comes out. All right, got the other PETG one out, and it actually came out reasonably well. All right, let's clean everything up, and then we can compare these a little bit better. All right, here we go, side by side. Still not a fan of the PETG. It didn't print as well as my PLA does. I thought it was the dryness, but it turns out that's not the case. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. So for me, I would definitely still use the PLA over the PETG. However, the TPU is very nice. Had a few little print issues that I think I probably will need to tune a little bit, but the quality of the mold that I got is way better. Often these will come out, as I mentioned, sometimes there'll be a little bit of chip out, it really depends. But given that this is fresh plaster and it came out very clean, so here it says that one little corner right there. So that's great. And it printed re relatively easily. TPU has definitely come a long way since the last time I used it, maybe a decade ago. It's great that it just works in the bamboo AMS and it just printed. I suspect these artifacts I'm getting are really a result of the tree supports I used, so I might need to look a little bit more into how to do supports the right way with TPU. But that should be an easy thing to figure out. So what filament should you use for your handle molds? The outer mold, use whatever. I think PLA works just fine. I think for the inner mold, if you have access to this new stiffer TPU that prints really easily, definitely recommending it at this point. I'll probably go ahead and print most of my handle molds in this hybrid way. And I think waiting a little bit longer, basically letting the plaster cure you know, overnight or a few days, you probably would wind up with zero chip out at all. This would just come straight out without breaking the plaster.
And I think our AB test between the filaments and then across the two mold designs is also very useful. These different geometries do behave differently. And so by looking at both of them, I think that was a good test. Is there anything else I should try TPU with in Shapecast? Hope that was interesting. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks.